it's, it's kind of like the Bears face the team that they want to be when they grow up. Yeah. It, it's sort of what tonight what. Look, I've never been a, a big fan of this Nagy guy. And, and quite honestly, it's because of the way he handled the, the uh, Trubisky thing. It's about as ugly uh, of an offensive performance as we've seen. What went wrong? I'm assuming you've heard the news. Well, of course you have. The Bears are out of the playoffs. And they went out in the best Bears way possible. I mean, it couldn't have been better. Uh, you know, the Bears, they just, they weren't good. And uh, it's a bit of a disappointment. I picked them to go 13-3, and three, if you remember. Um, you know, I know, uh, I know there's a lot of other teams out there that are going through the same thing, but, uh, not like this, not the same as the Bears. I mean, Doug always makes fun of me because he says I'm such a Demi Downer, the Bears, and, uh, yeah, I guess you could say I am, but, uh, you know, there's something about this team that just... There's nothing that's happy about it. And I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a little bit angry at Doug sometimes. You know, I am. I am. Because he says that stuff about me. And, uh, you know, it's funny because as he says I'm a Debbie Downer, he sends me all these memes about how the, how just, I mean, bears memes. And it's, it's not fun. It's not fun to watch. No, not at all. And then they put us on Nickelodeon. They put us on Nickelodeon television. Are you kidding me? Is this the, really the best we can do? And then they, and then it gets worse. They make Mitch the NVP. What are you? Are you kidding me? So, I mean, this had to be. This had to be the Bears. It had to be. Um, just yesterday they announced that Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace will be returning as the Bears' general manager and head coach. I, I see why that makes a lot of people mad. Um, so, you know, it's just... It's not looking good. And uh, going, back, going back to the Debbie Downer thing about Doug, you know, Doug, you got to hear me out here, and I haven't texted you this at all. Um, I don't know if you remember, but the Bears were 5-1. and one. Of course you remember. Bears were five and one, okay, and uh, people were saying we were the worst five and one team in the history of the NFL, and uh, you know, we were all saying, well, we are five and one, we we're good. I mean, obviously, everyone was saying we weren't good then. I mean, uh, everybody, yeah, no one was saying we were good. So then. You know, while everyone was saying that, we were we were just like, we're five and one. I mean, we're good to go. I mean, we thought we'd make the playoffs. I mean, I obviously watching the Bears play, I I kind of knew we weren't going to the Super Bowl. I'm sure people were hoping that. Um, but Doug, when you say I'm a Debbie Downer, listen to this: the Bears were five and one. Everyone thought we sucked. Everyone. No one thought we were good. Everyone thought we sucked. And the Bears proved them right. They proved everyone right. They weren't the underdogs. They weren't anything. They they proved everyone right. They told everyone, you know what? We do suck. And they showed it. They bring Nick Foles in. Nick Foles does what? He screws it up. All right, we won the Falcons game because of him. That's it. He squashed every chance we had at a Super Bowl shot. Nick Foles was 
horrible. He put up 150 total total offensive yards against the Vikings. The horrible defense Vikings. Now, if you know how horrible the Vikings are, you know that if you put up 150 yards of offense against the Vikings, you're screwed. And they were screwed. Mitch came back in later in the season against the Vikings and tore them up completely. Scored 33 points, uh, over 300 yards of offense. So you tell me who the better quarterback is. So, uh, you know, we're, we're getting rid of Mitch now. We're getting, we're, we're keeping Foles because he has a contract. Um, you know, just everything, everything sucks. Allen Robinson, gone. You just saw me bury his jersey back there. You see that? Yeah. Um... You know, Mitch Trubisky, he's gone. Hopefully we can get someone like Dak Prescott or uh, Deshaun Watson. Doug doesn't like Dak at all. Uh, but, you know, I'll take him. Um, you know, it's a long shot for Deshaun, but, you know, I think maybe we could do a trade since this is Ryan Pace, general manager's last chance. So he'll probably go all out. But, uh, you know, everything about it, it's just horrible. There's memes about the Bears so often I can't even describe. Then they put us on Nickelodeon. There's there's a bit more. Then Mitch gets MVP. That's more. Uh, you know, everything got ruined. Everything about the Bears franchise was ruined. When Mitch Trubisky was picked before Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. Everything was ruined. And uh, it got even worse. It could have been way better. It could have been better because I know the Bears. I know the Bears would have won the Super Bowl. I know I can I can confidently say we would have won the Super Bowl if Cody Parkey didn't screw up the season two years ago. I can confidently say that we tore up the Rams, who uh, lost thirteen to three against the Patriots in the Super Bowl. All right, I will say it right now, Mitch would not not be in his position that he is in right now if he won that Super Bowl. If it wasn't for Cody Parkey. It's just been horrible. You know, and I think this next season um, if we don't get do new, better players, I could see the Bears going 6-10 and 10 next season. And if nothing changes in this offense or defense, honestly. If nothing changes... I mean, this is just turning out to be, I mean, this could be horrible. Six and 10, five and 11. So yeah, Doug, you want to call me a Debbie Downer, but I mean, everything about the Bears right now, you tell me one good thing. You tell me one good thing because there's nothing to be happy about. This team sucks. You can't prove you cannot prove everyone right when you're five and one. Everyone tells you you suck. You are terrible. Every word you can describe as bad, the Bears proved everyone right. And the horrible decision to start Foles over Trubisky when the Trubisky is like somewhere around five and three on the season. It's just bad. And I can't see it getting better. Next thing I want to talk about is the Saints and Bears game. Now get this, I mean, how how much, I mean, the Bears. Just, if you say the Bears, what comes to mind? What comes to mind when you say the Bears? Oh, yeah, the, the team that took Mitch Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Sean Watson? Oh, yeah. Every game that Mitch plays in, oh, and he was picked over Patrick Mahomes and Sean Watson. Every draft that the Bears will ever be in, oh, they pick Mitch, Trubis Mitch Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Sean Watts. This will forever be our identity. And so we get to the Bears and the Saints game. All right, we just come a we just come off a Packers loss, which first of all looked close until about three minutes left in the fourth quarter. It was twenty-one to sixteen. It was very close. All right, so we put up a game against them. You come in one week later. 
and you score how many points? Nine. Nine points. Everything was bad. The game was over. The game was over in the first quarter when Javon Wims, Javon Wims, the same guy who punched Gardner Johnson in the face twice, punched him twice, got kicked out of the game. It was horrible. Then the play after that, Foles threw an interception. This was earlier in the season against the Saints. So you come to this game, Javon Wims drops a touchdown pass right through his hands, all right? So that, the game was over at that point because we knew, oh no, this is how the game's gonna go. So the game goes on and uh, you know, Javon Wims is still in the game. He's just still playing out there. It was a joke. So the game goes on. And uh, the, first of all, the refs were terrible in this game. Anthony Miller in the second half. Gardner Johnson. That's right. Gardner Johnson's back. You know what he does? Yeah, it's right in Anthony Miller's face. The thing everyone knew was going to happen in this game. He was going to get in their faces. Anthony Miller. The Bears' number three receiver, but playing at number two because Darnell Mooney is injured, so we don't have him. So Anthony Miller punches Gardner Johnson. He punches, gets kicked out of the game. So now we have Robinson. He's the only good receiver left on our team in this game. Um, still got so now you got Wims at number two. Um, that was it. Anthony Miller should be kicked off the team. Javon Wims should have been kicked off, I mean, how many years ago? Like five? No, he he hasn't even been in the league that long. But, uh, yeah, he should be gone too. Uh, you know what? Jimmy Jimmy Graham is gone. His contract is done. So he's gone. So now, that game was horrible. Bears lost 21-9. to nine. Sucked. Sucked. Um, you know, the Bears, they're just bad. Let's hope it gets better. Let's hope they figure something out because this team sucks. And uh, I have a right to be a Debbie Downer, Doug. That's all I got to say about the Bears. Um, well, everybody, if you enjoyed third and two today, I know it was a harsh moment, but, uh, you know, I just got to get it out so people don't think that I think the Bears are good. Uh, I know a few people who think I might think that so uh yeah i don't think the bears are good and uh that's it for third and two and uh hope you enjoyed today's segment and uh see you tomorrow on third and two